I just can't help thinking that this iPhone 13 Pro, well not this, this is iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 13 Pro will not be meant for everybody, but will be for filmmakers or someone who's aspiring to be a videographer, a cinematographer, or just want to bring your skills up to the next level, all thanks to the new camera system on the iPhone 13 Pro. So the new camera system will have a new ultra wide camera so this ultra wide camera will let in 92 percent more light than before all thanks to its uh, f 1.8 aperture size i think the previous version was at f 2.4 so that's definitely is a big improvement and also this ultra wide camera comes with auto focusing capability yeah last time you can only auto focus using the wide camera but now we can do auto focusing in the ultra wide camera system and one more thing is that ah yes you can do macro photography as close as two centimeters so i'm sure you'll get amazing photos from there apple has shown some of its capabilities but i'm really waiting to put this to the test to see if i can really do some cool shots like that so that's the up new ultra wide camera for you and the main camera also got some improvements especially for its new sensor shift ois capability built in there previously this sensor shift ois was only meant for the or was only found in the apple 12 pro max version so now the entire iphone 13 lineup for its main camera will have the sensor shift ois but the star of the iphone 13 pro for filmmakers will be the cinematic mode so this cinematic mode basically allows you to shoot videos with a shallow depth of view like what uh when you shoot photos a bokeh or bokeh shot will be like but now we have the ability to use the iphone to shoot videos like that so you can also do rack focusing which means that you're trying to focus your attention of one subject first in the video and then the next moment focusing onto another person and the iphone can do this automatically or if you wish you can even do this in post processing or during editing all on the iphone 13 pro so you can decide later who you want the focus to be and that is simply amazing and it's what usually can be done only on the pro level cameras like a dsr like the sony a7c that i'm using right now then you can do this kind of rack focusing or you know basically creating that creamy bokeh kind of look in the video so definitely looking forward to using that in the videos coming forward so the cinematic modes will only be available for the wide the telephoto and the true depth cameras in front unfortunately the ultra wide camera will not be able to have that function but anyway it's better than nothing the iphone 13 pro also can allow you to shoot macro videos that means really close up videos where previously if you go too close you can't focus on but now the iphone 13 pro can shoot up close in video mode and that includes slow motion and time lapse something that i want to bring up for photography side is that now it comes with photography styles basically it's trying to let you maintain a consistent look moving forward maybe you like your image to be more uh, vibrant then there will be a function to change the tones or if you want your photos to always be warmer or cooler and whenever you shoot you will keep that in place and this is different from those uh, effects that you drop on filter effects because it keeps the skies and the skin tones as neutral as possible but while allowing your subject to pop up right so that is something new that apple has done on the photography side so i think this may be helpful but finally for professionals who are really doing lots of editing video editing stuff they now have the ability to shoot in pro rest mode which means that you can really improve your workflow so this is something that um, will be beneficial for someone who has been always wanting to shoot in a phone but finds the hassle of uh, conversion a problem for them in their workflow so now you can shoot everything in pro rest edit in the phone itself and then just pop it into final cut pro to just bring it to your next level of editing so i think that is wonderful so some quick specs the telephoto comes with a 77 millimeter focal length and now also has 3x optical zoom uh, the aperture is at 2.8 and the ultra wide comes with 13 mm focal length and it's a new uh, faster sensor with 1.8 aperture 
and the wide camera is at 26mm focal length with a f1.5 aperture so definitely this new camera system will allow you to shoot way better looking videos when with this clever computational photography and videography and cinematic mode i think this will be a game changer for many people uh, those that have been on professional cameras probably they will want to be able to have this in their bag to be able to shoot quick videos outside if they have something in hand rather than whipping out the camera to shoot so it'll definitely be very interesting moving forward whether will the phone cause the demise of professional cameras like that well it's a debate for another day well thanks for watching this video i hope to get my hands on the iphone 13 pro fast and then after that put a video out put it through its paces and to really see if this could really spell the end for cameras like the sony dslrs so don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.